Hey guys, so I'm going to do a tarot reading on what's to come for the rest of your week. So the overall theme this week is the Knight of Wands and the Chariot, which is all about going towards something quite fast and it's something that's um, quite anticipated. Now there's a need here to keep going forward but to remain balanced within yourself. As you can see here, there's a black and white, I'm not too sure what they're called. Um, Serpent? No, that's not serpent. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, it basically just means to regain balance within yourself so you can go forward. Because otherwise, if you're unbalanced, you're going to go off into two different directions and not be clear on where you're meant to be going. So just get balanced within yourself and keep charging forward, keep going forward. You know, there's quite a lot happening for the rest of the week by the looks of things so keep charging forward and just remain balanced within yourself then we have the moon so there may be thoughts and feelings going on that you're not quite understanding there might be a secret coming out um, basically there's going to be a light shined upon something and something's going to be revealed now this can pertain to our psyche and our emotions and like our shadow self, our you know, aspects of ourself that are hidden, that are coming to light. You might be feeling emotional, you might be feeling conflicted. If you're not already, then something might come up to kind of arise feelings of that. But just, you know, listen to your feelings. If you need to cry, cry. If you need to shout, shout. Not at someone, just, you know, out of all... Or, you know, <laughs> go into the woods and scream. Do what you've got to do to feel your emotions, to release it. Don't hold it in. Now, we have the King of Swords, which is air energy. So there may be a significant air sign within your life. So that's um, Libra, Aquarius, and the other one that I can't think of. Maybe just Libra and Aquarius. And this is um, quite a strong king. He's very much in his logical mind and he strategizes and he plans. So maybe for this week you need to strategize and plans and kind of be in your... Think logically and rationally about things and situations. Yes, go forward with them and push forward with them, that's all good. But have a plan, have a strategy, know what you're doing use logic don't just jump into things don't just rush into things without like thoroughly thinking them through and you know listen to your gut instinct listen to how you're feeling about a situation to know whether to move forward with it or not and when the right time is you will know then we have the world which is all about a chapter closing it's the snake that eats itself it's about beginnings and endings so I can see that you've probably come to an end of a cycle in your life or you're about to, the cycle's about to close up. When things end, it can be tough, it can be hard, there could be sorrow attached. However, you know, sometimes things have to end for better things to enter, for a new beginning to start. So see this change, see this ending as a blessing. You may not be able to see it just yet, but there is definitely a blessing within this change that will, you know, become clear and apparent soon, soonish. Page of Swords. There will be a message coming in. You may receive a message from someone younger than you um, or someone that has like a, might be childish or they might just have like a childlike innocence energy to them. Um, thoroughly look over contracts if you're signing any contracts this week if you're sending an email or message look over what you're sending uh, be careful of any mistakes be careful of how you may be coming across 
think before you speak. <laughs> Definitely think before you speak this week. Don't act in haste. Don't just say the first thing that comes into your mind unless it's guided by a place of like serenity and peace and love. Think before you speak. Then we have the Seven of Cups. So you may have many options at the moment. There might be a lot of balls up in the air. You might not know which decision to make and what to do. You know, if we look here, there's so many things in his cup. And it's like, he's got a snake in his cup. If he was to pick that one, it would be the wrong one. And, you know, it could be a poisonous snake. Or if he was to pick the jewels here, oh, that would be, you know, fortunate. Or like here, if he was to pick the head, well, you would get a shock. So it's just about you need to ground your thoughts and yourself into reality. Don't get run away. Don't run away with yourself. Don't run away with illusions and fantasies and excessive thoughts about situations and maybe obsessing over people or situate like obsessing over someone if you're doing that don't try and stay away from that just breathe just breathe just take some time out if you've got a lot of things going on if you you know you don't really understand what's going on in your psyche and around you maybe there's a lot of things going on internally so thus meaning there's going to be a lot going on externally just breathe just take a time out and we've got a lot of things going on and when our head is really scattered the best thing you can do is just take a pause and breathe go for a nap just go for a nap or go for a walk or meditate or do some coloring read a book whatever it is that um, relaxes you that's healthy for you <laughs> that's another thing um, don't binge eat this week or do anything in excess just be mindful of what you're putting into your body whether it be like food drink whatever or like don't be in excess with don't watch too much Netflix um, don't drink too much caffeine just you really need to learn to balance you just need to be really balanced for this week there's a lot going on so you probably your emotions are going to be everywhere. You might be feeling already a bit wobbly. We're coming up to a super full moon on Monday. So that's another thing that can affect us emotionally. It does me. My emotions go everywhere. <laughs> um, you know, as humans, we are really affected by the moon. And that's coming up. So that is another thing that will... Well, that's being reflected in this reading. And the fact that... We actually have the moon. So some of you, this reason is for this week, but your um, emotions are going to be really heightened this full moon. Just listen to them. Just observe them. Observe them. And let them go. Let them go. You are not your emotions. Your emotions are not you. And they do not control you. Just feel what you need to feel. Let whatever thing needs to come up, come up and release it. And if you don't know how to release it, write it down and say to yourself, I'm releasing this. Do it as many times as you need to do it. Do whatever you need to do to release that, you know, them, all them emotions. It's good to feel your emotions. Yeah, it's good to feel your emotions. Don't block your emotions, just feel your emotions. Don't get caught up in fantasy. Don't get caught up in illusion. Don't get caught up in your ego, overthinking situations and not knowing what to do and just feeling everywhere and all over the place. Um, maybe starting one task and then not finishing it and then procrastinating and overthinking. No, just stop. Just breathe. You just need to breathe. And then we have King of Pentacles, which is stability, material success. Very, very stable energy. So if you get a hold of your emotions, if you get a hold of, you know, situations and if you... Don't try and control a situation, just surrender to what is happening. Surrender to how you're feeling, surrender to the situation, take a breath, take a time out, take a nap, drink some more water, 
watch a good chick flick or film or whatever just to calm yourself and get yourself in this energy of the king of pentacles the stable energy this strong energy maybe some of you might want to focus on work this week um, for the rest of the week to just like help ground you you very much need to ground yourself you very much need to listen to your thoughts and feelings I'm just going to pull up a few more <laughs> nice nice it meditate if you don't know how to meditate i've got meditations on here if you don't want to meditate practice mindfulness color or go outside or look out your window think of five things you can see you can hear you can smell you can taste maybe you can't taste anything but yeah five things you can see you can hear you can smell mindfulness yeah, permit, look within, the answers you seek are within, take this time out if you need to be on your own, be on your own, do the inner work that needs doing, if you need to heal, heal. The magician, you can manifest whatever you want, you can be this beautiful, amazing, positive human that can have the life they dream if you just believe in yourself so you know go with him calm your internal mind calm your external situations get out of your ego get out of your fantasy and runaway thoughts walk away from situations that don't serve you walk away from thoughts that don't serve you get into the present moment meditate center yourself believe in yourself in your dreams and what you want to create what you want to manifest some of you look into the law of attraction if you already have an awareness of it brilliant keep going with it if you've no clue if it resonates with you then look into that Abraham Hicks that's who I follow anyway with it really really good um, if you can like understand him yeah you are the divine creator this week if you listen and heed this advice if you listen to your own inner advice you can be this magician, this powerful creator that's full of power and magnetism and goes after what they want, like the chariot. You know, there's a lot of yellow here, which signifies the um, solar plexus chakra, which is just, or you can't see, like here, just a little bit under, which is all where your personal power is stored um, and is your, like, drive, is your go-forward kind of, energy aura thing yeah <laughs> anyway and then lastly we have the empress which is about stepping into your divine power being creative being nurturing it, it's like the mother card she is like the mother of all mothers she's the empath she's the healer she's the one that everyone goes to with their issues but she knows when to say no, she knows her boundaries, she knows when to say no, enough is enough, she knows about self-love, honour yourself, honour your needs, honour the need within to love yourself, work on self-love, nurturing yourself, being creative, whatever creativity means for you, it can mean reading a book, creating a book, painting, acting, anything that's creative, well, I can't think, but yeah, anything that's creative will be really good for you this week, um, to kind of like get a hold of your mind if you're having a few issues with stuff, do something creative, work on self-love, work on self-care, it's really highlighted here, you've literally got so much going on for the rest of this week, I think some of this is going to go into next week as well. Obviously apply it to your situation and how it is. Yeah, I mean there's a lot happening. But it's a lot of good. So I will leave you with that guys. I hope you have a beautiful, lovely, blessed.